Hey y'all, Scott here. I know what it looks like. I wasn't looking for a pumpkin. I was looking for grass. Oh, wow. Okay, fine. I couldn't take it anymore. Just yesterday, I was doing a live. I've had enough of this! And I decided to finally buy a pumpkin. Grass fan must live around here. Oh. Welcome to the Lessler Pumpkin Orchard, where pumpkins are a specialty, orchards a close second. Wow, vegan Terry Lessler running a non-permitted pumpkin patch. Can you name a more vegan crime? I've been a gourd user for a while, looking to make an upgrade. Never bought a pumpkin before. What are you carving during the fall, then? I mainly using watermelons. Well, we do offer conversion therapy. Nah, I think I'm good. I'll buy that one. I'll buy that one. That is a nice-ass pumpkin. Oh, uh, this? This is just a rental. Uh, no, I'm looking to own. You really think you're ready to go in raw and own a pumpkin? It's a lot of responsibility. Maybe you start with a goldfish or something. No, ever since I was a kid, I pledged that by the time I'm 17, I would own a pumpkin. I'm 23 now, and I've gotten nothing done over the past six years because this has been at the top of my to-do list. Let's get this over with. Perfect. We'll do a background check. You'll be the first you to own a pumpkin. Yes. I'll pick that one, the orange one. You want the two-year warranty? I hate the metric system. How many hours is that? And I run a pumpkin patch, not a clock. All right, just tell me when. That's good. All righty, so here's uh, gonna be your paperwork. Can I have my ID back? And your passport, mugshot, and watch, and you take care of that thing. Good stuff. You are currently looking at a registered pumpkin owner. Sure, I've dabbled in owning foam decoratory pumpkins in the past, but those I would just throw out after the season was over. These ones, completely different. This one's real. I asked if there was any pumpkin regulations in the county. I can't quarter it in a time of peace. I said I didn't want it after that, but I already took the cellophane off. My first real pumpkin. And to celebrate, I decided to invite all pumpkin users in the area, throw a bit of a pumpkin party. I hope that isn't slang. Terry should be happy to see how this pumpkin's doing, and plus four years from now I'll be throwing my first party, so I think I'm ready to throw another one right now. I think I'm finally ready to present myself in front of the pumpkin demographic. Damn it. Okay, maybe I should make this more of a half pumpkin, half Halloween party. I don't want to make an ass out of myself in front of the pumpkin fandom, so I'll distract them by making it more of a Halloween party. All I have to do is come up with a scary costume. I have had this list for over four hours and have never acted upon it. See, I could go with somebody who's owned a pumpkin before. My cover will be blown. I could go with somebody who ate a fucking Wii. Maybe next year. Oh, wow, that's the scariest one. Uh, of course, I could also go as memory card talker, but I, I, I go as that year round. All right, I'm just gonna need some materials for this costume. Okay, customers also bought memory cards. I can go as two things. Fuck it. Happy Halloween. What do you do when you're playing a video game, but you have to get up and exist? Well, I can leave the thing on for days on end until you're ready to not do anything again, but what if you have a power outage? The cord gets unplugged, you have this nervous tick where you just have to go and ruin everything. Your game gets reset, and you have to restart everything from the very beginning. I can't think of anything worse. Anything. You have to be protecting in case something like this occurs, so bring in the memory cards, the gaming contraceptive. Saving your progress in a game is something we all take for granted nowadays. Remember when games didn't save at all? The only way to beat them was to play them all in one go. From start to finish, you had to experience what it's like to be depressed. Some games started using passwords. Get to a certain point in the game, write down the password it gave you, enter that in next time you boot it up, bam, right back where you left off. But right after they made the English language, they went, oh man, they're gonna make Metroid, aren't they? Oh, this Zeros, capital O's, lowercase O's, ones, capital I's, lowercase L's. Sure, in the game itself, they're distinct enough, but when you're writing down a password, you'll probably just use whatever your brain thinks would be funny. Why couldn't God make the O look like this? And these passwords could be ass long, like I didn't know these many spaces existed. Sometimes you'd get passwords with icons to use. That immediately makes things a problem for the artistically challenged out there. What are you talking about? That's a squiggle, not a sigma. So to pick up where you left off in games, you either had to keep the game console running indefinitely, or something I have to explain to your parents. I don't want them thinking I play Mega Man 4. What is this? Uh, coordinates for a bomb. Plus, what kind of passwords are these? Like, you try to get into a club and they ask, what's the password? C764. Something had to change because neither one of these methods were particularly ideal. I mean, I'd rather have passwords than not have passwords, but I'd rather have blood than not have blood. Doesn't mean I like blood. Talking about memory cards, one sec. 
So in came The Legend of Zelda for the Nintendo Entertainment System, featuring a battery built into the cartridge which allowed it to save your data which became a luxury for many games. If your NES game came with the ability to save like this, you knew the company cared so hard about you. The following generation, saving this way became more of a standard across the board. Most of Nintendo's Super Nintendo titles had battery saves built in. Many third-party games still used passwords, Sega took a while to catch up on the Genesis, but by the end of this generation, being able to save your game was the hip thing to do. But here's the issue, there's a reason not all games adopted the battery to save data to the cartridge. It cost money to do that, and some people can't stomach supporting Duracell. Each game would need a battery backup, and that battery eventually runs out after a couple decades, so eventually there'll be no evidence of me playing Mario World the night of some murder. And I have a soft spot for alibis. Plus, with the industry quickly shifting from using cartridges to CDs, you couldn't really feasibly save data to this. I mean, battery, CD, battery, CD, something had to change. Well, what if you could save the data to something else? Oh, f I thought you were another door. Am I the first to arrive? Yes. Yeah, so I brought some pumpkins for uh, discussing. Got this one that's orange, and this one's really orange. You know, I was thinking we could make this a half pumpkin party, half actual Halloween party. What the hell's Halloween? Well, just step outside, change into a scary costume, and you'll be fine. What are you, a meat eater? A person. Oh, yeah, I can tell by the hat. Well, feel free to not say anything until the others arrive. Oh, what the hell? I give you a pumpkin for well under a year and you turn it into memory cards? No, those are just memory cards for the GameCube. For the GameCube? Here, let me explain. Memory cards gave you the ability to save games to a choking hazard. I mean, it made perfect sense. With these, you wouldn't have to worry about cramming a save feature into the game itself. Just force the consumer to deal with it. This way, no game had an excuse. If they were on a console with a memory card, yup, they had a save feature unless he didn't own a memory card. I think we've all been in that situation. You own a console for a bit, but you don't have a memory card, so you just kind of play the game you have, but you can't save, so hey, let's just keep playing from the beginning. Now, of course, that's how most NES games were, but I owned a GameCube and didn't get a memory card until a couple months in. I am an expert on watching the opening to Battle for Bikini Bottom. But once he actually got a card, oh my god, my options skyrocketed. I can save? You know, memory cards actually first appeared on the Neo Geo AES. <laughs> I don't want to give a shit. You could save your data onto it and then bring it to a Neo Geo arcade cabinet, plug it in, pick up where you left off, which is a killer plus to using memory cards. You can bring them anywhere. Your saved data can always be with you. Make a necklace out of it. There's a lot of memories you can dig up on one of these, especially if they were never owned by you. Look at all these game saves. Preserve for us all to point and laugh at. I mean, the term memory card can mean two different things. It saves game files, sure, but it also saves memories. This was my childhood GameCube memory card. Yeah, I got the Mad Cat 16X, not the official Nintendo produced one. These came with carrying cases. So much better. Oh man, I wish each P had a sock. Owning a Mad Cat's memory card should have put me on track to buy a Thrasher shirt, but here we are. This is what my mom bought after I sort of begged for a memory card, so then I didn't have to watch that damn opening cutscene for the 67th time. And I think we really hit it out of the park first try. 16X, what does that mean? It has it and a lot of it. There was more than enough space on this one to store any and all save data I could ever dream of. I can't believe I didn't get stuck with the One X. 59 blocks of storage, I would be disgusted if I knew how much that was. Yeah, some game consoles refer to storage as blocks. I think they were trying to simplify things, but honest to God, it made even more no sense. Just use typical memory storage terms. Just say megabytes. No mom hears blocks compared to megabytes and goes, ah, oh, I have this many blocks remaining. What does that mean? I could say you were better off buying the official memory cards made by the console manufacturers themselves, but why would I? These aren't like third-party controllers where like, yeah, if they're cheaper, you can really feel it. Ah, this one's made of gum. Memory cards you cram in the console and never think of again. Oh, but this one looks blue and smells funny. And you can get by with any type of memory card. That's the beautiful thing. These brands are all of equal value. Sometimes memory cards would come with games, like with Animal Crossing. You got a GameCube memory card free of charge. Made sense considering Animal Crossing required a ton of space to save, so you pretty much needed a memory card just for it. But hey, it's an Animal Crossing themed memory card, just like how I have an Animal Crossing themed thigh. It's a sticker. 
That's it. You can theme anything to be Animal Crossing this way, but I appreciate the sentiment. I'm surprised there weren't more special edition memory cards. I mean, they existed. Here's Spider-Man crawling out of his grave. However, most of the time, you just have to choose between cards of different size capacities and colors. But just the fact different colors were offered really baffles me as to why there weren't more grave digging options. So, cool bullshit, right? I don't know. Is it really worth neglecting your pumpkin for so long that it can save guys? I can't help but the pumpkin dies. All the bees flew south for the winter. Pollination's over. Wait, this, this isn't the right pumpkin. Oh yeah, it's over there. Looking good, got any plans for this guy? I was thinking we could bop for apples, but with this instead. Oh, you can feel free to stop not saying anything. Got a pumpkin. Oh God, we were supposed to bring pumpkins? I was hoping the invitation would be cryptic in a good way. Wait. Never mind. So what are you supposed to be? I was going for person, but everybody's going as that this year. Oh, come on! I thought I'd channel my inner Wendy's employee for my costume. You are a Wendy's employee. Is it really that convincing? I have not heard the word pumpkin since 67 words ago. I can definitely swing with saying pumpkin. Say this one! Now with the boom on these things, many companies had some kind of revelation. Like they needed to innovate every possible thing. Like, you know how some shoes have software updates now? For the Sega Dreamcast, the memory cards for this system were dubbed VMUs, Visual Memory Units. They were memory cards, sure, but they had a screen and buttons and were their own mini game console. Of course, with that screen, that meant in multiplayer games, you could see things that were exclusive to you, so Sega could tell me where the antidote was. And then you could unplug the VMU, take it on the go, and play little mini games. It's amazing this idea wasn't ever fully replicated. It's pretty cool but it's pretty worthless, so that's pretty much why. Like, is this really necessary? This is just another battery you have to worry about. And what's the point when you look over at the PlayStation 2 and that used a fucking saltine for its memory card and everybody in the world owned two of them? The closest a console got to replicating this idea of your own personal screen had Mario Tennis on it, I'll give it that. Whoa, I didn't know pumpkins could save game data. They're truly God's favorite. What are you, a doorway pirate? No, I'm Dex. I thought he was depressed. Whoa there, I'm gonna need to see some fruit. How's this? No. This? Ugh. This? Language. This? Yeah, it's a fucking pumpkin party, get in! So memory cards pretty much stayed ass boring, but with the original Xbox, they started to become ass boring and obsolete. That system had a hard drive built in, which meant you didn't need a memory card, the game saved to the system. Now you could buy a memory card if you wanted to back up your saves or bring your save files over to a separate Xbox, but who cares? You don't need a memory card to save games. This is a fucking party. I never used memory cards to bring my save data over from console to console. I only used them to save game data. So the idea that the Xbox saved it all to the system meant that an Xbox memory card existing is something scholars still don't get. Then with the Xbox 360, they continued this trend, but also allowed for the hard drive to be expanded. But you could still buy memory cards. Xbox 360 memory cards are some of the most worthless flicks of garbage I've ever seen. What's the point? Each 360 had more than enough storage to save games, and if you needed more storage, then why spend all this money on a dinky-ass memory card when you could invest in a beefier hard drive that could save that much more? Look at these card sizes. 64 megabytes, 256 megabytes, 512 megabytes. Yeah, these could hold a flight, maybe. To be fair, this one comes with a digital copy of Worms and a carrying case that fits on a keychain. Okay, maybe that makes sense? I get the idea is so you can bring your files over to a friend's house, but this was the era of online gaming. It's obvious this was all fading away. I mean, the PlayStation 3 and Wii didn't have them. Sure, you could use GameCube memory cards on Wii when playing GameCube games, so some third-party memory cards said for Wii on them, when in reality they were just for GameCube and were preying on the people who didn't know any better. Not me, I'm immune. And what are you supposed to be? You. Whoa, 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 not today, whoa, whoa, whoa. Not today. That's not a pumpkin. When I saw the invitation, I thought the P said P, the U said I, the M said N, the P said E, the K said A. Listen, I don't want to hear any excuses. I'm fruit blind. Can't see fruit. That poor bastard. It just, you can't be here with that. I have a permit. F*** it, fruit blindness. It was obvious things were moving in the direction of storage built into the consoles rather than relying on external carts. But wouldn't you know, at least the PlayStation Portable kept the dream alive. Oh. Oh, I thought it was a fingernail. Why does a handheld system need a memory card? Same problem with the PlayStation Vita. Early models didn't have 
any storage on it, any at all. And even though the games were now on cards, you still needed a memory card. And the PlayStation handheld memory cards are proprietary. They only work on these specific devices. You can't even use a PSP memory card on a Vita or vice versa. They were expensive too. Why couldn't they just use standard SD cards? The Nintendo 3DS did, and now the games mostly just saved to the cartridges themselves, which made things crazy simple. You could take a 3DS game you were playing on one system, pop it in another, and boom, the save data is all there and accounted for. Why can't everybody be like Nintendo 3DS game save files? All right, what do you guys say we pop some of these suckers in, get an insight to the previous owners? Wouldn't be a pumpkin without a background check. I always wanted to tour a pumpkin studio. It's f***ing freezing! Well, let's see what we can discover. First off, my own memory card as a child. Look at this, with so many blocks to spare, too. Yep, I went through a heavy Nickelodeon games phase growing up, but we have all the usual suspects here as well. Pac-Man fever and me doing nothing for the first 23 years of my life. How old am I? But this one actually came with a used copy of Luigi's Mansion I bought. The guy just forgot his memory card was inside the case. See, a lot of game cases come with inserts for memory cards, much like how most cups come with containers. So let's pop this one in here, and why not? Let's check out this one too. What? Oh, that's, that's odd. They're basically the same thing. Yeah, like uncle and daughter. Those are my two biggest fears. Mine are isolation and windows. Okay, well, this one's gotta have something good on here. Look at it, this one has more in common with a bookmark than it does a memory card. Wind Waker save file, we gotta check this out. Must be code for the name Jim. So this one's gotta be good, there's nothing but Odama? These aren't pumpkins, are they? What was your first tell? I knew it, I knew it. Every time a pumpkin claims to save Geist data, it's always a scam. How can I let this happen twice? Right when we found these weren't pumpkins, I knew something was up. Yeah, guys. Let's get out of here. Probably just a rat. You know, the Xbox 360 surely has some terrible stuff on the memory card. Nothing haunted, mostly christened. Let's just plug it into the Xbox 360. Yes. Where's the memory card port? They took out memory card support in later 360 models. That's my Halloween costume next year. You know what? I don't care. I'm gonna show this ghost what I'm made of. Don't harass the ghost. They don't even know what harassment is. Oh! Oh, not my leg day legs. I need them for leg days. His hand is bleeding. His eyes aren't blinking. His lips are smiling. His dead is showing. Great, now I'm never gonna be the first of five to die. PlayStation 2, for God's sakes, give me something good here! We may be getting haunted, but I'm still disappointed. Some of these things are so old, they're bound to lose their spunk. What's more fun than looking through a memory card and seeing all these games that were played and all those cool little icons or animations made specifically for the memory card while also getting f***ed by ghosts? It's a really cute aspect of gaming. This reminds me of being outside. That's it! We need to get this thing outside! All the clouds, right? Exactly! The only way we're gonna be able to do that is to stun it with something. Stun it with something big, bold, orange. You son of a bitch. Alright, I'm gonna stun it. Rex, you throw it outside! Take off your costume. F this is a room? Okay. Well, thanks for coming. It was a fine party. And only one death! Listen, I I'm sorry about- Nope, not hearing it. That pumpkin had a hole being a pumpkin in front of it. You know how old she was in pumpkin years? Oh, that was a pumpkin? Thought she used a napkin. What's fruit plantness like? It's really funny. Until you have to identify fruit. That pumpkin had it coming! It couldn't even be a watermelon! You take that back. Should we take him to a hospital? No, he's already dead. And gotta say, first time owning a pumpkin, not impressed. It's not supposed to impress you. It's supposed to evolve you. It's a f pumpkin and destroying was the only way to stop possessed memory cards Terry I never wanted to be in the Phantom anyways I found one bad person that means it's the worst I'm going to bed I've been practicing being angry in my sleep What's your problem? Ah! Wait. He's just sitting there. 
like a pumpkin. No, I'm not gonna let my Wii get possessed by a pumpkin. Of all fruits, pumpkins need to be eaten, not enjoyed. Okay, you have them for two months out of the entire year, and then what? We're back to watermelons. No. Okay, I'm glad I got owning a pumpkin out of the way because it'll bump my credit score up. But for now, no, we need to end this, regardless of what body you possessed. I ate the f***ing Wii. Well, possessed memory cards took my Halloween party hostage, and then the pumpkin I used to knock the cards out repossessed the Wii the cards were in. Busy day. I wonder who owned these memory cards in the past. They may have died, but maybe that pumpkin taking things over might have played God and reverse engineered their souls. They might be back in business. Ghosts deserve some praise. It takes a lot of courage to be dead. You know, I might have been a bit hard on the pumpkins. You know, they remind me a bit of memory cards. This one's orange too. What a pumpkin means to those guys, memory cards mean to me. They're just such fun little experiences to have, with or without possession. And that's how you know you truly care about something. You don't need possession to enjoy it.